Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Uh, here by myself today, nobody wanted to come down and be in a video, so is what it is. I'm gonna hop into the YouTuber challenge and see if we can't get out some more wins. I love those decks, but I am gonna continue the challenge that I did start yesterday or Wednesday with my boy Tanner. Um, obviously pre-recorded this video because today is Friday and I'm not even in Idaho. I had to go to California for work, so is what it is. And <laughs> I'm gonna be getting after this challenge. Super excited. I wish I could have live streamed it, but I had to go to had to go to work. Gosh dang it, work kind of gets in the way of all my YouTube and my Clash Royale playing fun. So very unfortunate that way. Anyway, this replay I decided to show you guys because um, it's pretty insane. I kind of played it horribly. Going up against the Zappy Inferno Dragon deck, and I did have the Golem deck. I haven't even noticed. So when you start playing, does it? Sh I'm gonna have to check, but I have to. Does it tell you the name of the YouTuber that created the deck when you start playing? Anyway, I, or I can just look it up or be smarter about this, and you guys probably already know. Anyway, so horrible plays. He's got both towers all the way down on me, which is very unfortunate. So I'm gonna show you guys how not to play this game. I should have poisoned a little bit further off. That other goblin hunt was basically dead. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get both of them, but that hardly worked out for me. So let's get this thing going on double speed. Anyway, it's ghost coming in. I throw my lumberjack down, which was okay. I think it was an okay move. The zappies are pretty dang clutch, but I am able to take them all out with the guards. The guards are obviously super clutch still. Absolutely love playing with guards. So we got the guards in there. We got Golem. I put in the back. I basically just ignored that tower. So he puts his zappies on a split level, which is fine. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna ignore the skeleton barrel, of course, until I can zap it. Go ahead and zap that thing perfectly. It's hard to time that zap on the skeleton barrel. That's the problem with the skeleton barrel. Able to get this fatty push down. Take out his mega minion. He's throwing everything down. He's like, I'm just gonna stop this push. He's zapping away. Able to take out the tower, and then I get all that gangbuster going to town on his king tower, and I didn't even think about it, but I put my golem on the other side, which was kind of unfortunate. Went ahead, and I threw that poison spell out there. Didn't get it all the way down, but we did get within nine. Went ahead and zapped, cleaned that game up. So super excited about that win right there. Let's see if we can get some more wins. I know the second game that I did play, <laughs> I play it was funny because I played with my boy Tanner, who's three. And he does tell you on the video, but I did play with Tanner, and he um, had to play half the game, so made some horrible plays with him and lost <laughs> uh, uh, some exchanges, but was able to win the game. And then I went ahead and I started playing after I played with Tanner, and I lost my very first game, so kind of embarrassing. So maybe I need somebody to kind of mess with my head a little bit so I can win. Anyway, let's hop into this next battle. Let me see if it says the name of the YouTuber right here. YouTuber challenge, obviously. Okay. Oh, so it does say the name of the deck. Kyokyo. <laughs> Kyokyo's deck. Okay, so I didn't even look at the deck because I was looking at the name. So what do we got here? Giant deck, it looks like. That's pretty sweet. We're going to throw minions in the back here. We do have the double minion. Oh, I hate this deck, actually. I absolutely hate this deck. So we are going to be able to play it fairly decently. Let's throw the giant down. Um, let's go ahead and zap that. Let's keep those alive, and we'll go Skeleton Barrel. Oh, sorry, Skeleton Army up on that hog. Ooh, actually, great play on his part. But I'm not too worried. I'm going to throw the Goblin Barrel down there, or the Minion Horde behind the Giant. I wish I would. I wish I knew what he had. <laughs> yeah, let's go Minion Horde, just because he did go Inferno Tower, and the Minion Horde will just die to a Fireball, of course. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. Wow, did not see that coming. So, Hog Rider is going to be a little bit of a pill. Keep in mind, he does have the zap. Unfortunately, I thought he just used. Oh man, I didn't think it. Flipping Fireball, huh? Let's go Sparky. Maybe we can get a giant in front of Sparky and then do some massive work. So, we got to get our zap out. He'll throw his bats down there. And so, we do have the zap. I'm just going to kind of let that knight do its thing. I'm going to put my minions over there in just a second. So open bats uh there we go let's go minions oh he put his bats on that side interesting okay did not see that coming and he pre-zapped in anticipation of the skeleton army i'm guessing which that's cool i i really do like that so he's gonna fireball here oh and he's gonna freeze sparky which is great he's he's just playing all frantic now which is great because that's what he should be doing because i do have a giant up on his king tower okay Fireball is going to be a little bit of a problem because I am... Oh! He just used his fireball, so we're good to go. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say I'm going to use my minion horde for 
his hog rider when it comes in. And that worked out pretty well. So let's go giant up here in the middle. Yes. Uh, let's go giant and let's go goblin barrel. And then let's go... He's going to go ahead and do that, which is perfect. His bats went for my goblin barrel. We do have a full minion horde and a set of minions up on the tower. He was able to get the minion horde, but not the minions. Giant is pretty decent health. And we do have the minion horde still coming in. He zapped that, so he doesn't have a zap for a skeleton army. Didn't matter. Went ahead and three crowned that guy. That's the bad boys of Albania. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Worked out so well. We do get some gold here, so that's awesome. 2,000 gold, guys. 2,000. Wow, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, let's get let's do another match, man. That worked out extremely well. Very happy with that play. Let me win. So whose deck do I have? Oh, God speeds. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so this I have played with this deck now. That's the deck that I think I showed on the replay. So let's go ahead and get the pump out there. <laughs> he probably has the same deck. So we're playing <laughs> mirror matchup, which you gotta love that they did that. Okay, so he's going to poison, so I'll go ahead and I'll poison too, I guess. Just because that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Give <him> a... <laughs> we have the same deck. We have the exact same deck. So I guess I could just match his plays. I'm going to go right off the start. We'll go golem, same lane. And then we'll get a night witch behind the golem. The good thing is, I think our golem is a little bit further back. So that's a benefit, right? So I'm going to throw the night witch down, and then I'll throw the mega minion down as well. Uh, he's going to get a few more bats loaded up, which is probably great on his part. Probably pretty smart. Let's go like this, this, this. I'm going to go ahead and zap his bats. Boom! There we go. Um, dang, his golem is going to get to the tower, and ours is not. Very unfortunate. Let's get our guards up in front of our Night Witch. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, he zapped the guards, which that's good. That's good. We do have our... Oh, man, he did get more damage on us. That is embarrassing. It sucks when you lose a mirror matchup because it's like, it's all you pretty much. It is all you. So let's go Elixir Collector over here. And let's act like we have more Elixir than him, even though we don't. Probably. Maybe we do. Who knows? And he's going to go poison it. That makes sense. That's a good play. Good play. I don't know if it's worth it to use my Elixir Collector the rest of the match pretty much then. So let's go Golem right here, right now. Dang it. Flip. I thought we were up on him. So I'm going to go Lumberjack just like he did. And I'll hold out my Mega Minion just like he did um, till the end this time. Let's get our bats going first this time, which I am happy about. So he doesn't have his poison. So I am going to use my poison instead, which I like that play. I do like that play. Oh, I really like that play. Come on, let's zap that. Kill that Lumberjack, please. Oh, he's going to kill all my stuff too. Smooth move. Smooth move. I can deal with that, though. I can 100% deal with that. We got everything going in, and I do have a raged up Night Witch. That's it? That's all that's raged up? Come on. Rage something else up. Come on, Lumberjack. Get down. Yes. Get down. There we go. <laughs> Crap. He's got two. <laughs> two Mega Minions coming in. No, get in there. Ah! Let's go poison on him. Let's go poison. Yes. <laughs> Let's take out that witch. Get those shields taken care of, too. Those are super annoying to deal with. So he's, we've pretty much both abandoned our golem, which is cool. I'm going to gangbuster up here. We're going to gangbuster. Oh, no, he put his golem down in defense. That was a good play. Good play. Good play, guys. Good play. <laughs> okay. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. We're going to have to poison, too. We have to take that golem out. We have to stop that golem. We're going to zap his lumberjack because we have to take it out. Come on. We need our lumberjack. Oh, my gosh. This is a horrible game. This is a horrible game. We gotta get a we gotta get a golem down. We have to get a golem down. All that's trotting in there. It's not gonna do anything. So uh, we are gonna do a bit of damage. What, what, what am I doing with the poison spell out there? Come on, people. Come on. Is it like triple elixir? Holy cow! This is like nuts, busters. There we go. Come on. I see some action coming our way this time. There we go. Kill our kill my lumberjack, please. Okay. There we go. We just gotta get a golem down. We have to get a golem down. Get in there. Get some damage. Or don't get any damage. That's cool, too. That is so cool, too. Let's go, Golem. There we go. We're putting a Golem down this time. We're going to get a Night Witch behind our Golem. Hopefully, it doesn't poison. That's the only risk that I see with all this stuff that he's got going on. Is his stinking... Oh, we're going to poison. We get to poison the tower this time, boys and girls. 
We get to poison the tower, and we get to poison... Oh, we got a golem on the tower? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy, oh, buddy. That was good. That was a good push, guys. That was a real good push. We're going to zap that. Hopefully, we can get our lumberjack to the tower. Don't think it's going to happen. We are just so close to getting it in there, guys. So close. We're going to put our night witch right here. And then we're going to poison uh, his golem. And then hopefully cycle around to another poison somehow. And I think we can do it. I really do. Let's go ahead and zap that. Boom. Boom. Okay. Where's our poison? Where is our poison? Lumberjack? Oh, crap. Did I play too aggressive? Did I play too aggressive? We need a zap and a poison. Oh, crap. I have to defend first. I have to defend. Okay. We're going to have to defend that. And then zap and a poison away, right? Yes. He just went golem, which was a horrible move on his part. Come on, baby. Come on. Hopefully, I can do the math right. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's right. I went all in. I went all in. No, I didn't do the math right. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Crap, 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 crap. Crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. No. I did the math wrong. No. <laughs> I guess I don't know how much poison a zap does. I wouldn't have done that if I didn't know. Oh, we were so far ahead. I gotta forget that ever happened and get into another battle because that was horrible. You guys saw that go down here first, right? That was a horrible play on my part. This is a cool deck. I haven't played with this one yet. This is way cool. Um, let's go Ice Wizard. And then we'll go Goblin Hut. Come on, baby. What's he got? So he's got a graveyard deck too. He's got graveyard cannon cart probably, right? I think that's the deck. Yeah, he's got bowler. That sucks. <laughs> I just put I just put my stinking. God, I keep doing that stuff. Okay. Let's focus. Let's focus just for a little bit. Our goblin should take out that baby D, which is awesome. Awesome for us. Yes. Yes, yes. Perfect. Let's go right here. Giant skeleton. Mega Minions stay alive, do some damage, and then we will go the Dark Prince right here. I'm just pushing. I'm just pushing here, boys. Pushing here. Let's go. Let's tornado everything over to the tower. Then maybe we can get that giant skeleton over there. There we go. Boom! Tornado that over there. Yes. Is the giant skeleton bomb is close enough to get a bomb blast, right? Like, that's close enough. Yeah, definitely. Excellent tornado on my part. By the way, I just want to mention, I just want to throw that out there, which I've never done before, so that worked out really well for us. He doesn't have anything. He's got his baby dragon in cycle right now, so he'll throw his baby dragon right there in the center. Yep, or on the side. That works out too. That's just fine. Let's go Ice Wizard just to distract that baby D first for a while. Oh, man, I put him right in the poison. I would do something like that, wouldn't I? Huh, that was horrible. Horrible plays. I'm just going to let everything die a little bit. Let's go skeleton, giant style over here. Perfect. He can't do anything right now. There's nothing he can do to stop me. Like, I am bringing all the pain right now. He should have. Come on, guards. Put your guards down. Yes. 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 Oh, crap. Dang it. I wanted that giant skeleton to get some damage done. Get there close. Get there close. Yes. Perfect. So, it looks like he's going to go Graveyard right there, which is actually a decent play. Let's give him credit. Let's give him some credit, people. Um, but we can stop that. We'll shut it down 100%. We do have our Dark Prince still alive. And we'll get in there. I really want to use Graveyard somehow. So, let's go ahead. We're going to go like this. And then I'll just poison up again just for fun. And then... No, 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 no. Then... No! Flip. I was going to do something so cool. Let's go Dark Prince again. Uh, Ice Wizard again. Yes. Okay, stay back there, Dark Prince. Stay back there. He is going to poison, which is a good move. It is a good move. It's got pretty much half my troops in that poison radius. But it's not going to be enough. We are going to be able to take this match uh, down to Chinatown. And we will go ahead and... <laughs> I don't even know if that's Chinese, but it is what it is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today. Hopefully, I can finish this challenge out soon. Probably won't be able to do it on video, but super fun hanging with you today. Um, 
take it easy guys if you guys have any comments or anything else i do have a couple of chest opening videos i was going to do this week but i'll probably have to do them next week which stinks i really wanted to do them this week it's gonna be pretty sweet we're gonna open up a bunch of king's legendary chests so it should be pretty rad anyway take it easy and good luck peace